One morning, Nick had to go to school, but since the school was so far away to walk, he had to get someone to drive him to school. During the drive to school, Nick asked Bruni Man, if I wanted to reach a velocity of 100 kilometers per hour from this red light to sports check, what's my acceleration? Okay, let's say that sports check is about 400 meters away. The rate I will have to accelerate at is calculated from Vf squared equals 2a delta d. Acceleration equals Vf squared over 2 delta d, giving you an acceleration of 0.97 meters per second squared. Nick then asked, how much force will that take? Well that's easy Nick, you just have to enter it into force equals mass times acceleration. The acceleration force is 630.5 newtons of force. So then I'll need a total of 630 newtons to accelerate the sports check then, right? Well, no, not exactly. You still need to take into consideration the force of friction. The force of friction is calculated to force of friction equals mu Fn. Fn equals Fg. The force of gravity is Fg equals Ma, which equals 6,370 newtons. Usually the mu for kinetic friction on roads in regular conditions is 0.03, so then the force of friction would be 191.1 newtons of force, so the total force needed to accelerate from here to sports check would be 821.6 newtons of force, giving us a net force of 630.5 newtons of force, 0.97 newtons per second squared. Now the light was green, so Nick and Broody Man started going to school. Nick asked, so then how much time will it take? Time is calculated from Vf squared equals Vi squared plus A delta T. It would take 28.7 seconds to get from here to sports check. Wow, that's pretty awesome. I never knew that all this could be calculated so fast. Nick had another question. If I was to continue on at 100 kilometers per hour from sports check to school, then would I still need an applied force of 821.6 newton? Um, no. This is because of Newton's first law. The first law states that if the net force of an object is zero, then the object will remain at rest or in constant velocity. Since we are already in motion, the force of friction will have to match the applied force to stay in constant velocity. Oh, I understand. Brutyman and Nick were getting close to the school now, but Nick still wanted to know one thing. He wanted to know how fast they could come to a stop going at 100 kilometers per hour. So he asked, Bruni Man said, If I do a four-wheel lock taking all the applied force away, with a static coefficient of 0.4, the stopping force or force of friction would equal 2,548 newtons, causing me to accelerate at a rate of minus 3.92 meters per second squared and covering a distance of 98.6 meters. All this will be done in a short 7.1 seconds. Wow, Bruni man. Thanks for the physics and the drive. My force are strong with this one.